raise yourselves aspiring content creators and youtubers today we are going to be unveiling the clash of the titans capcut and in shots battling it out to claim the crown as the undisputed champions of beginner content creators okay that intro was so dramatic hello everyone happy jesse here and today i'm going to be comparing in shots and capcut based on user interface speed and the quality of the free mode because let's be honest most beginner content creators are broke and that's okay we've all been there okay i'm still there but first of all let's talk about the similarities between these two apps they're both beginner friendly for creators that are just starting editing and have no clue on what to do in fact you can create quality content with just the free version you can edit text overlay transitions effects and even export in 4k with these two apps but now we have to determine which one is the best now when it comes to the user interface i would say InShot looks more easier to navigate it takes you through a two-step process before you get into like the editing page itself and the color is really bright and playful and you're not immediately bombarded with too much features it's simple and clear CapCut, on the other hand has too many features in on the opening page especially for beginners and the features in the first page is not really beginner friendly like most beginners are not really looking to retain touch or add prompters or caption to their videos when i was a beginner i didn't know what these words are i just knew that there was a cut edit delete and those kind of simple features for editors it can look a little bit overwhelming for beginner content creators that know absolutely nothing about editing so for user interface i would say in short wins this version now comparing the quality of the free version i'll say capcut has more professional and graphic text templates for beginner content creators that don't really know how to edit text they already have a template for that and it also has auto caption just one button your caption is done and it is really precise i know caption is the rave now like everyone is putting captions in their videos if you're not doing that you have to do it now because that's the trend and you have to you have to keep up okay now in short on the other hand also has text templates but they are not really that quality and professional and they are kind of out of outdated like nobody really use this kind of textile anymore and the number of fonts available in the free version is very few although you can have access to the pro version for free if you watch ads but there is still no auto caption so CapCut wins this round now let's go to filters animations and transition InShot has quite a good number of this and one good thing about it is that it is easier to find for beginners for example if you want to zoom in zoom out which is the style most beginner content creators use it is readily available and it's easier to find the right kind of transition you need for your videos and as for the filter they have quite a good number of those and it is named based on what you actually want to use it for for example the vintage one of course if you want to make a video that looks vintage and you know from the 90s or the 80s you already know the, the filter to go to however most of the filters need to be edited to make it look more appealing CapCut, on the other hand has more modern and cinematic animations and effects we even have this cartoon one although most of them are in the pro version the free one is actually still lit so rating quality based on the text template the animations the effects and the filter I would say CapCut wins this round. Now we all know watermarks are usually involved when it comes to free version. So in terms of watermark which is part of the quality of your video like you don't want your videos to have watermark because it looks unprofessional or cheap so for that i would say cap cut wins this one because it doesn't really put a watermark on your video it just puts a clip at the end of your video which you can just delete with in just a second but in short on the other hand you have to watch an ad of like 30 seconds or even one minute that will take your time and can actually be frustrating cap cut is way easier so cap cut wins this round now if you're still watching to this moment you obviously find this video very valuable so why not click on the subscribe and the like button come on come on don't be selfish now the last criteria we are going to compare is the speed of both apps it just plays an app that you need to watch halfway through before you download the video while CapCut does not play any ad when you're exporting your videos it took me 10 seconds to download a one minute video on InShot, and it took me 37 seconds to download a one minute video on CapCut without the ads so if we're going to still compare that i would say in short wins because despite the ads it was it downloaded faster than CapCut. based on all these criteria it is obvious which app has won our hearts the undisputable CapCut. Woo! Give it up, give it up, give it up.
now i would say if your video editing style is just basic and simple as a beginner beginner like the most beginner of all beginners i would say inshots is the best app because it is very very easy to use the user interface is very easy to navigate you don't really need to figure out much which is less overwhelming compared to CapCut because it has less options the features in there are the features a basic youtuber needs so you're not going to be overwhelmed with what you're seeing but if you are a beginner professional like a beginner that wants to look a little bit extra like a beginner that already knows the beginner features but wants to add a little bit of oomph to their editing style i would say cap cuts is the best option at the end of the day choose what works for you i still use inshots to this day but i use more inshots than i use cap cuts because i'm a simple girl with simple needs no actually i'm not but i'm just too loyal because i started on inshots and i'm so used to the user interface i already know where what i want and where i want it to be it's very hard for me to leave now that's it for this video if you want to watch more of my editing tutorials for beginners click on this playlist here and tell me in the comment section which apps you want me to compare next until i come your way next time i remain your one and only happy jesse go now my student and make me proud